And here we go. All right. Hello, everybody. It's Chris Johnstone here, and welcome to this advanced training. So um, if you've never been on one of my trainings before, uh, this is going to be value packed for you. What I'm going to be doing is giving you a roadmap to plan how to get from where you are in your mortgage business to where you want to be in a year's time from now. And then I'm going to give you three specific ways to get there. And the whole purpose of us being here together today is to show you how to create the exact amount of money that you want from your mortgage business. Okay. So a quick warning ahead of time, there are no sponsors for this event and you are about to learn the blunt truth about what you need to be successful. So typically we've got, you know, a big sponsor in the U S a big sponsor in Canada. And I am, uh, very professional pretty much all of the time. Um, but this is going to be a more candid presentation. It's just you and I, and I'm going to be, well, I can do whatever I want on this webinar. So I'm going to tell you some of the stuff behind the scenes about the growth of our company and the growth of our business and really what it's taken to get to the level that we're at now. I'm so blessed and fortunate that connection incorporated and the account managers that you may potentially have the opportunity to work with, um, you know, we're growing phenomenally strong. We're almost at 20 people as part of our organization and all of them love what they do, love working with our customers. And what I did to get the company to this point, I'm going to be sharing with you here today so that you can take it, know that it works, implement it in your business and get a similar result in your mortgage business. So, hi, I'm Chris Johnstone. That's my good buddy, Carl White. Carl's not going to be with us here today, um, but that's a picture of us at his one of his Freedom Club events. He runs this high-level mastermind with mortgage professionals, and the results that they get in that group is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm so blessed to be uh, a partner with Carl but I show this to you because many of you will know exactly who Carl is and know that he holds a very high standard for anybody uh, that he associates with in the industry. You could tell I've gotten a haircut since that photo only a couple of months ago. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, the other thing uh, before we get into today's content, we're just going to get right into it here. Um, I wanted to let you know that we have just been designated, uh, Connection Incorporated as a company, is now a Facebook marketing partner. So that makes us Google certified and Facebook certified. And we had to go through some pretty rigorous testing in order to get that. And that gives us actually some really cool tools that we're able to apply. And the third thing that I'm going to be teaching you here today is how to run a successful marketing program on Facebook that actually closes funded loans and gives you pre-qualifications that you can use to generate referral relationships. And, uh, and one of the reasons why we were accepted to the program is because of the way that we structure and implement our campaigns for our customers. And so what you're learning here is quality. We're not doing any, you know, kind of weirdness or fly by night stuff. These strategies actually work for you and you're getting everything here that you need in order to implement these in your business. Nothing left behind the curtain, not, you know, get to the end. You've got to buy something to get the secret sauce or anything like that. Nothing like that. So uh, what we're going to be going through here is three strategies and I'll outline them in full in just a second here. But the first is how to get more customers from your past customer database. I'm going to give you three specific strategies that you need to implement to do that. The second thing is realtor referral marketing, but also referral marketing in general. That could be insurance agents or it could be uh, financial planners. I'm going to show you how to go out and get that business as well. And then the third thing that I'm going to be teaching you is how to go direct to market and actually run ads, get customers and do it at a profit. So this is um, from Adriana. She ran one of our campaigns, generated 442 leads, 18 uh, referred out to her real estate partners. It's really the third line there that I want you to focus on. We've been able to use the pre-approvals to set up four new relationships with realtors that were not sending us business before. that. All of those results happened within 60 days of running that campaign in her business. So I'm going to show you how we did it and how you can implement that in your business to go out and get new realtor referral relationships. Uh, this one here is from Mel and uh, he doesn't, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say he doesn't like uh, going out and getting realtor referral partners, but 
He doesn't have to. He likes going direct to market. So that's what we do for him. We run mortgage ads just to generate mortgage customers so that he can fund the business. And after a year of running the program, his return on investment is 507% for the year. And that includes our management fee as well. So Mel doing exceptionally well. And I'm going to show you how we're going direct to market and closing those customers. But before I get into the nitty gritty of giving you the campaigns and the templates and the scripts and all of that wonderful stuff, what I'm going to do is walk you through an exercise that's exceptionally valuable for you because we are going to take you from where you are right now in your business and establish what's working right now. Then we're going to set a goal for you one year from today. And then we are going to map out a plan of exactly how to get you there. I am one year into this process now. Um, it's actually my third year of doing it this particular way. And I walk through it very similar in my business, the way that I'm going to teach you how to do it here. And we are at our goal of where we want it to be in a year's time by following this process. And I want that same result for you. So I'm going to teach you how to set those goals, plan the most efficient strategy to get you to those goals, and then build you the marketing plan and the systems that you need in order to get you there. And like I said, at the end of the presentation and through the presentation, I'm going to be giving you the templates, the scripts, and a guaranteed plan for success. Now, I do also want to put out a big disclaimer that if you're going through the process at any point and you think this is overwhelming or this is too much for me, at the end of every presentation that I do, I say, hey, look, do you understand how that can help you? Yes. Would you like my help doing it for you? So if you see all of the strategies and you say, yes, okay, I get it. That's going to work, but I don't have time to implement it we will offer to do it for you. And as I mentioned, we have an incredible staff of people that just implement these strategies and can get you a phenomenal result. So that's coming at the end. But again, I'm going to give you phenomenal value before we get there. And there's nothing missing. You get exactly in this presentation what to do, nothing left behind the curtain. So let's get into our planning exercise. So what I need you to do now is shut the office door, get rid of all the distractions, and get out a blank sheet of paper with me, okay? We're gonna walk through a planning exercise to really make an impact in your life and the life for you and your family for the next year. So I want you to write down exactly where you are right now as far as the number of deals that you're doing every month, okay? So and if everybody on this presentation is gonna be at a different level in their business, right? So some of you are going to be you know, five deals a month, 10 deals a month, 15 deals a month, doesn't matter where you are, where you are is perfect, right? It's uh, about where we're going and you're exactly where you need to be right now. So write down how many deals you're doing per month. Then we're going to set your baseline. And all we're going to do is take a look at the number of deals that you're doing every month. And we're going to put each of those into a bucket, right? Bucket number one, bucket number two, and bucket number three, because there's only three ways that you can grow a mortgage business. You can get more customers from your past customer referrals. You can get more customers from referral partners. That's realtors, financial planners, investment advisors, um, insurance people, right? Or you can go direct to market. You can run advertisements, get leads, and turn those leads into customers. Now, those leads are phenomenal because you can refer them to realtors and get more business. And then when they become a customer, you put the marketing system in place that I'm about to teach in just a second, and then you get more referrals from them. So um, right now, I want you to take the number of deals that you do every month and put them into a bucket. Okay. How many of your deals on average in any given month come from your past customers? Is it 50%, 60%, 70%? Doesn't matter. Everybody's going to be a little bit different, but in bucket number one, and you can see mine, mine's, mine's super simple. I have a one, a two, and a three written down there. And in column number one, we're going to write down, you know, 50%, 50% comes from past clients. And then 25% comes from realtors and 25% comes from past clients. Pretty simple exercise to do. And your numbers are probably going to be weighted more like 75, 80% from past clients, 20% from past customers or from referral partners, I should say. And then 5% from marketing. That's typically, we do hundreds and hundreds of consultations with mortgage professionals and almost everybody relies on their past customer database for the majority of their business. If they've been in business more than five years, the trick is if you're going to scale, 
and you want to hit a very lofty goal, you have to be focused on step two and step three because step one really does have a law of diminishing returns. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. So where do you want to be in one year? And this is very, very simple. You're just moving a little bit further down on the piece of paper and writing down how many deals you want to do. Now, this is part of a much more philosophical discussion that I'll leave to you to have with yourself after this presentation. But I did want to anchor in your mind that you can actually figure out how much income you're going to make in a year from now by breaking down how much money you make per deal. And then taking that income goal and breaking it down to how many deals you need to do per month. Uh, again, that's an exercise that I do. It's incredibly freeing to know you, the income that you can make from the activities that you have to do every day. So what I want you to do right now is break down how many deals you want to be doing per month in your business, knowing that that's associated with an income for you and your family, right? So let's just say you're doing five deals a month right now and you want to go to 10 deals a month in the future. I'm just writing 10 down on the sheet of paper. So We've got five deals that we're doing previously. We're going to assume that those deals are going to come in regardless of what you're doing. You're going to keep doing the same activities that you're doing right now. What we need is a plan to fill in the gap, right? To take you to that next level. So if we're doing five deals right now and we want to get to 10, we need a plan to get you an additional five deals a month, right? You all are better at math than I am. You're in the mortgage industry. So it's pretty simple to figure out what your growth plan is and how many deals per month you need in order to get there. Now we're going to map out a strategic plan where I give you the activities that you need to do in each of the three areas of your business in order to get you to your income goal, right? Because we know what actions we can take in each of these building blocks in order to get you results at certain levels, right? So what we're now going to do is map out of those additional deals that you need every month, what activities we have to do in each of these. So by the end of the presentation, you're gonna be able to look at this map that we've created at the beginning and say, okay, I'm going to pull an additional two deals a month from my past customers, three or four deals a month from referral partners, four deals a month from advertising, and grow my business by X percentage. I'm gonna walk you through the math of how to put the leads or the deals in the buckets, and then you'll know exactly what activities you have to do in your business in order to get there, okay? So let's get to work. How do you generate more deals from your past customers? Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation that I'm lucky enough to be a good friend of Carl's and I get to attend all of his Freedom Club meetings. So there are hundreds of loan officers in that group right now. They all get together in these like amazing conference rooms. They always pick like a destination event and you go and it's just like really, really nice. And everybody talks about what's working in their mortgage business. The people that are in the family, like in the group, they're very open and they share uh, what works. Plus we consult with hundreds of mortgage professionals all of the time. And they share with us what's working on those consultations. I can tell you there's three things that you can do to really get a phenomenal result from your past customer database. And anything really above and beyond this will have a diminishing return for you. And the fact that the amount of effort that it takes to do anything above and beyond this really isn't going to return a whole lot of extra deals for you. So it might not be worth doing that extra effort, right? You also run the risk of communicating or giving too much communication to your past customers and maybe turning them off or getting them to step back. So we found that this is kind of a happy medium. So the three strategies are this. Number one, lumpy mail during the expected events. And this is you know, handwritten letters, postcards, uh, mailers, potentially a Christmas gift, that sort of thing. And the expected events are basically like birthdays, you might send one for Thanksgiving, but Christmas, birthdays and Christmas, if you cover those two off, if you have a monthly newsletter that fits inside that category as well. So if you don't have a service or you don't have uh, somebody that you use for that, 
We've used send out cards, uh, sendoutcards.com in the past. I don't, uh, you know, I've, I'm endorsing it because I've used it in the past and it worked really well, but I don't get compensated for that or anything like that. Um, and, you know, you need to be doing it. And that's a great option for you to do it. Here at our company, we used to use send out cards. Now all of our account managers uh, do it one on one. So they are responsible. I write a lot of handwritten cards and send books out every month. Um, and then the account managers that are working with their clients are responsible for sending their lump email every month. And we send that out as well. So that makes a big impact and it keeps you top of mind with your past customers. So make sure that you're doing that. Now, calling once a quarter, and you can see I've got calling in the quotations there because I'm about to show you a really cool way that you can automate that. It takes about three hours and you can have your whole database called uh, with your voice uh, through an automated process that I'll show you here in just on the next slide. And then the always on referral machine. And that is using Amazon style advertising to do retargeting in your business. And I'll show you exactly how to set that up in a second as well. So I've kind of given you the send out cards thing, the lumpy mail thing. We all know how to do that. We all know how to mail our past customers and send them nice messages like, Hey, thanks for your business. Don't forget our business is built on your referrals. We're happy to give your friends, family, and coworkers the same level of service that you got, right? You've got that. Now calling once a quarter, this can take days, days, and the phone is super heavy. Plus, you're running a business. You've got the underwriters you've got to get after. You've got, you know, it's hard to sit down and dedicate a couple of days to call your database, especially if you're doing it once a quarter. But that's what it takes to really get that influx from your past customers. So I'm about to introduce you to a system that we use. It's called Agent Legend LO uh, for our US-based clients. We have another one for our Canadian clients. And we have a template in there called the Database Profit Activator Campaign. And this is specifically for loan officers and mortgage professionals. And what we do is this system sends ringless voicemails, text messages, and emails to all the leads. So when we generate a lead from Facebook or Zillow or Boomtown or Commission Zig or whatever, it goes into the system and it automatically follows up on all the leads and does a phenomenal job. What we're doing for your database is getting rid of most of the features and just using the ringless voicemail and you record a message that sounds just like this. Hey, it's Chris Johnstone from XYZ Mortgage Company calling. I just wanted to call, reach out and say thank you again for your business. I was uh, looking through our database of past customers here and your name popped up and I just, I just really wanted to call and say thank you very much for your business. Um, not a whole lot going on in the mortgage market right now. You're in great hands in the product that you're in. There's no need to make a move. But if there is, don't worry, we're going to reach out. We're going to let you know. And we've got you taken care of, even though you've already processed your loan. Now, um, our business really is built on your referrals. So don't forget, uh, if you know anybody looking to buy, sell, or refinance to pass along our number. Our phone number is, and our email is, and thanks so much. Hope all is well with you and your family. Bye. Click and done. So what you do with the service, you import your CSV file with the uh, phone number of your past customer, right? You record that voicemail and then you click send. And this campaign is set to follow up every three months. Now our really aggressive customers, what they'll do is they'll record a specific voicemail every three months and talk about like a 30 second snippet on market conditions so that it's unique for that uh, specific one feels a little bit more custom tailored, but you can make it, you know, based on the template that I just gave you, you can make it very, very brief and broad. And then it will just continue to call out to your database every three months. People don't remember what you said on the voicemail three months ago. And it's a great way to have your customer, engaged in the process. And um, the way that a ringless voicemail works, if you're not familiar with the technology, is their phone will ring, but it just kind of chirps. It doesn't do a full ring. And then the voicemail is inside their voicemail. So again, these people know you, they like you, they trust you. We're not like broadcasting this out to people that don't know you or that don't you know, they've given you communication consent. You're allowed to communicate with these people. So it's not like weird or anything like that. All right. So that is how you activate your past customer database. Lumpy mail, 
and the ringless voicemail broadcast, right? Now we're going to go into the immediate referral machine. And what you do here is you take the same list that you just uploaded to the Agent Legend LO system, the CRM system, and you upload that customer file to Facebook. That allows you to retarget people on Facebook and Instagram. Then you show them three specific advertisements, testimonials from past clients, stories of success, and a direct call to action. So testimonials from past clients, pretty standard, right? Stories of success, those are deals that you're closing every month and you help somebody in an interesting situation or you just have a happy customer, right? Potentially get a picture of them in front of their new home or you with them at the closing table, whatever it is, or you can use stock images on these and just tell the customer story in the actual advertisement. Now, the third ad is what triggers everything. There's a direct call to action that's almost the same as the voicemail that you've left for them. Uh, our business is built on our happy customers referrals. If you know anybody looking to buy, sell, or refinance, tag them in a comment below or have them call phone number and email. So what happens here is your past customers are getting the lumpy mail, right? They're getting your newsletter. They're getting the handwritten cards. Then they're getting the ringless voicemail from you once a quarter. This means they know you, they like you, they trust you, you're top of mind. Then they go to whatever event it is that they go to with their friend or their family member or whatever it is. And that person mentions to them, hey, we're going to be moving. We're thinking about selling our house. And they go, oh, that's amazing. Listen, I've got this mortgage company that I did business with. They're phenomenal. When I get home, I'll send you their information. They go, oh, okay, that's great. Thanks so much. Then you know they part ways and nothing happens, right? It happens to us all the time. We do it too. So these ads show up on Facebook so that two or three days later, when that person logs into Facebook and Instagram, they're scrolling through their feed, they go, oh yeah, I was going to refer that company to Betty. They tap on comment and they tag Betty in a comment on Facebook. All of their friends see that they just referred your business. The person who's tagged in the comment, all their friends see that they've been tagged in the comment with a recommendation for your mortgage company and you get notified of that person being tagged because it's your ad. So that gives you the ability to reach out and say, hey, do you have any questions? Can we help you in any way? And it's a phenomenal way to go out and get new customers. Now make sure you're ready to reply to those comments and thank your past customer for their referral, right? Thank you so much for sending Betty to us. We're going to make sure that she's well taken care of. Pop something nice in the mail to that person. Send them a, Star a Starbucks gift card or something. Just say thank you for the referrals because everything that you incentivize or that you say thank you for, you're going to get more of. And I want you getting as many referrals as possible. So we know doing those things, you can expect roughly two deals a month per 100 customers that you have in your past client database. Remember, anything above and beyond that kind of going to give you a law of diminishing returns. So you have what you need in order to get that stuff going. So go forth and implement. Now, let's get you some more realtor referral partners or this strategy also works for financial planners. It works for insurance professionals. I'm going to say realtors over and over through this presentation, but no, when I say that, I mean everybody that can send you business. And it all starts with this mindset shift in you before you actually do your value proposition. Because I see so many professionals, when they talk about how they go out and get realtor referral partners, they always open up the conversation or they'll go and they'll do a presentation about their products. Like I help people with minimum beacons of X, or I can work with down payments as low as Y or whatever it is. And in my opinion, and it tends to be <laughs> um, repeated by many realtors that we'll talk to is that they don't care about your products and service right up front. Your services don't have value until they have a relationship and a bond with you. Until they understand that those products and services are part of why you're so awesome, what they really care about is you and having a partner and growing their business. So when you get the opportunity to do your elevator pitch or you're calling your agents and they call you back or you're running our Facebook program that you get with our done for you where we have realtors reaching out to you, um, your core value presentation is not, hey, I've got these products. 
It's that you are a problem solver and a rainmaker. So when somebody comes up to you and says, hey, what do you do? Well, I'm a problem solver. I help realtors get tough deals done and make sure that they make more money. And I'm also a rainmaker. So I generate a lot of leads and I make sure that I pair those leads with the right professionals to help them find the right house. Oh, you do, do you? How do you do that? And there you've got the hook. Dan Kennedy always says your elevator pitch needs to get that person invested in what it is that you do. So if you say, oh, I'm a loan officer and I've got a great suite of products. Okay. Well, good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you know, whereas if you're a problem solver that gets tough deals done, they get, they immediately have a deal. The last deal that they lost comes to their head and they're going to ask you about how you could have potentially helped in that scenario. And they'll think of you in the future for the next one. And when you say that you're a rainmaker, they'll say, how do you do that? And then you give the presentation of value on how you help them build their business. Now, there are three main pain points and whether your realtor partners will tell you or not that these are their pain points, this is running through all of their heads. If you hit uh, these three pain points, the, it will resonate with every single realtor that you meet. So the first is they're too busy to follow up on their past clients. Just like us in the mortgage industry, they know that their past customer database is the most profitable asset that they have, and they are not doing a good job of following up with those people, maintaining those relationships. They're neglecting their database. So they know that there's this pile of money sitting over here, and they're not doing everything that they should be in order to get those deals because they're too busy. They're fighting fires. They're dealing with their existing customers. They're dealing with running the business, right? So if you tell them as a rainmaker and a problem solver, I really help realtors go out and get more deals from their past customers really by implementing three simple things. Oh, cool. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Of course I can. Right. And then you go into what I'm about to teach you in just a second. The second thing that you can do is drill in on the pain point that they are too busy to follow up on their current leads. Right. Here's how this works. Many of them are buying leads from Zillow or Boomtown or Commissions Inc. or Facebook or they're running their own Google ads or they're generating leads from all of these different sources that they have available to them. And as soon as you start generating leads from the Internet, the quality of the lead diminishes incredibly. So if they're used to getting referrals from their past customers, those leads will normally close at 75%, 80%, 90%. Like they talk to somebody, the likelihood of them closing that deal is very, very high. And then all of a sudden they start trying to grow their business and get to scale. So they start adding lead gen into their business. And all of a sudden the lead quality goes way down and they're getting rejected by most of the people that they talk to 75% or 80% of the people don't even want to talk to them. And they go, Oh, this is horrible. And all of a sudden that telephone just gets so heavy that they can't take one more rejection over the phone. And they say, okay, well, I'm, I'm buying these leads and I'm going to continue to buy them, but I'm just not going to follow up on them. If those people really want to talk to me, they'll just, I'll send them an email and the ones that reply will reply. And that's good enough for me. That's their solution to getting away from the pain of being rejected on the phone. But on the other side, they all have that little person on the shoulder saying, you're spending a lot of money on those leads and you're not following up on them. You're really not doing a good job but the lead continues to sit in the desk drawer. You are the solution to that problem. All of our clients don't chase leads. We don't cold call. We don't chase after anybody. Our leads come to us. Because of that CRM system that I just showed you that goes out to the past customers, those ringless voicemails, text messages, and emails, we get over 40% of our leads to reply back to us without chasing them. And you can show your realtor exactly how to do that and get rid of the pain point of following up on those leads. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Now, the third pain point is they don't have enough leads and customers. And we're also going to solve that today by giving you a funnel where you can bring in leads from Facebook and Instagram that want to be pre-qualified for a mortgage, right? You pre-qualify those people and then you send them to the realtor and you get those deals in return. Now, in order to get the realtor to the point where they'll actually be interested in any one of those three things, 
you have to demonstrate what's called the results in advance framework because you've probably approached a realtor in the past and they've said, oh, I have an in-house lender or I send business to Bob because I've been dealing with Bob for 10 years or I have to refer three people because of compliance or whatever it is, right? It doesn't matter what their objection is to sending you business. Your response is always the same. Just don't worry. Don't send me any business. I'm not asking you for business. All I want I just want to help close the business that I bring to you, if that's all right with you. I just want to help closing the business I bring to you. Remember, I'm the rainmaker, right? I'm more than happy to generate the leads and generate the pre-qualifications. I just need your help helping to find a house for those people and supporting them. So I don't want you to send me your business up front. What I really need your help is closing the business that I'm going to help you generate. Does that sound fair? Of course it is, right? So then you're going to teach them the three things or do these three things for them. That's the most valuable thing that you've got. So the thing that you just learned, the lumpy mail during the expected events, you can help them implement that. Calling once a quarter, you can teach them our system that automatically follows up with their past customers. You can even help them implement the system using your technology, right? We have it set up so that you can run that process for your referral partners. And then the always on referral machine, get their database, upload it as a custom audience inside Facebook, put those three ads in front and just let it run. When the phone rings for the first time or you convert any of these leads for them, all of a sudden you're in, right? Now, following up with their past customers, it's an easy win, but they might think, ah, that's a little bit too much work. So too busy to follow up on leads. This is perfect for the real store partners that come to you and say, hey, will you pay for half of my Zillow leads or will you pay for half of my Boomtown leads, whatever it is. Your new rebuttal to that is, well, you know what? I've, I've kind of got the lead thing dialed in. I've, I've got my own Facebook campaigns and I'm good like that. But what I would like to do is help you convert those leads so that you never have to chase them or cold call them. And I'll send all the pre-qualifications over your way. I'll take care of all that for you. And what you do is you get them to send you the leads that they're getting, whether they're buying them, you know, it doesn't matter what service. You can plug it into our system and automatically send the ringless voicemails, the text messages, the emails. So you can say to your realtors, don't worry about it. I'll call the leads, I'll text the leads, no problem. When they come to me, I'm going to get them pre-qualified for a loan. If they're already pre-qualified with somebody else, no problem. I'll make sure that they're getting a good deal and that they're actually pre-qualified. And if it is with somebody else, no problem. I'll send them over your way as well, but I'll filter them all for you. You never have to get rejected on the phone again. You never have to cold call. You never have to chase another lead. I got you. So all the leads that they're generating through those systems, you hook it up to the system. As soon as the lead is generated, it automatically goes into our system through an API, does all the follow-up for you, and then you get the inbound leads. Now, here's the really cool thing about that. What you say to them, if they're hesitant because you're not willing to pay for their leads for them, say, don't even give me the leads that you're getting right now. You keep the super hot ones. You give me the ones that you're just not working anymore. Just give me your old leads from 60 to 90 to 120 days ago. Well, when those leads are generated, the majority of online leads are going to take 60, 90, 120 days to convert. Because when they're online doing their research for real estate, right? They're at the very beginning of the buying process. There's the majority of the leads that are quality come out of that database in 60, 90, 120 days. So they've worked it. They've, you know, called them twice, sent them an email and the leads are no good, right? You can take that database, put it into the system and still get a 35 or 40% response rate from those leads. So imagine getting free leads from these aggregators, Zillow, Boomtown, Commissions Inc., Facebook, their referrals, right? load them into that system and connect with 40% of them for free. It's just all the low hanging fruit that they've left. And you're adding value to that realtor partner by getting calls from those people, doing the pre-qualifications over the phone, and then handing the leads back to the realtor. It's a phenomenal way to go out 
and activate that database. Now, the third and most valuable offer that you can give to those referral partners is them not having enough of those quality leads coming into their business and everybody wants more leads, right? It's a phenomenal and easy way to get in front of them. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to teach you how to generate your own leads because they're totally focused on generating real estate leads. Like we just said, when you target somebody who's interested in real estate, it could be a year until they're actually ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on people that are getting the mortgage so that they're at the end of the buying cycle, so that they're a higher quality lead, they're more likely to convert up front. You pre-qualify them and then send them over to the realtor if they haven't already got a realtor referral relationship. Just like Adriana that you saw at the beginning of the presentation, you work the leads and use the leads to set up one, two, three, four, five other referral partners that are sending you back their business, right? This is a three-step process that I'm about to teach you. This is how to run successful Facebook and Instagram ads to generate loans that are going to fund and referrals that you can send out. So the three steps are, number one, finding the most profitable traffic. Number two, converting it. And I'm going to show you how we've eliminated opt-in pages altogether and we're getting 40 to 50% lead opt-in rates by repelling all the low quality leads. It's, step two is crazy. I think you're absolutely going to love it. And then step three, I'm going to really show you a detailed look of this follow-up system because every lead that we generate from Facebook, we put into the follow-up system that sends the ringless voicemail, the text message, the email. So you never have to chase those leads. When they're ready, they reach back out to you and ask you to get pre-qualified because it's a mortgage offer. Okay. So step one, finding the most profitable traffic. What most people don't understand about Facebook is when you go in and you target people that are interested in mortgages, Facebook gives you this massive total audience. Well, the way that Facebook is identifying those people is because they're going on, um, you know, other business pages that are related to mortgage or maybe one of the bank sites or whatever. And then they also look at their web history where they've been online when they were off of Facebook. And when they log back in, they say, Oh, Hey, this person was on bank rate. They're probably interested in a mortgage. But if you've been to the bank rate website, I'll just use this one as an example. This happens on a lot of the other sites that are out there. But if they've been on bankrate.com, yeah, there's a likelihood that they're interested in getting a mortgage. But there's also a likelihood that they're just looking at credit card rates or lines of credit or CDs or whatever, right? So in that total audience of interested mortgages, there's actually only a very small slice of those people that are interested in getting a mortgage and an even smaller slice of those people that are interested in getting a mortgage in the next 90 to 120 days, or even the, ne the next six months, right? So when you run an ad on Facebook and say, show me, you know, show my ad to people that are interested in mortgages in this location, in this age range and whatever, you use the standard Facebook targeting options, you set a budget inside your ad campaign. So Facebook will tell you, hey, with, you know, in your local marketplace, you're going to reach 100,000 people or 200,000 people or a million people that are interested in mortgages. But when you set a budget of, say, $15 a day, $20 a day, $25 a day on Facebook ads, you can only buy a little sliver of that pie. So the likelihood of you getting a very high quality mortgage lead from your Facebook targeting by just giving it to Facebook and hoping they're going to find that person is actually very low because well, this is a test that we did. So in this particular ad campaign, our reach was 5,400,000 people. Our budget was $125 a day. And for that, we were only going to reach 16,000 people. Now, once you've got that slice of the pie, Facebook just continues to show your ad to those 16,000 people. So the rest of the 5.4, never going to see our ad. So all of those really high quality mortgage leads that are outside of our slice of the pie, we never get an opportunity to see them. So how do you find the most profitable traffic in your marketplace? You run this process. This isn't a setting that you can set inside your Facebook advertising account. It's a process that you need to go through. So all you do is you go into your Facebook advertising account, click on the ads manager, you start to run your ad campaign. And then in your ad set, you go to Facebook and you say, I want to target people who are interested in mortgages, right? Then 
you duplicate that ad set. And most often our split tests will duplicate four times. And you run the same ad set targeting the same people. You turn them on at the exact same time and what you're forcing Facebook to do is rather than spending all of your ad budget in one slice of the pie, you buy four slices of the pie. And if you're aggressive with your budget, you can buy the whole pie, right? You let those ads run for four or five days until the algorithm does, and it'll tell you learning and then completed learning. As soon as it gets to the completed learning phase, you can see how many of the ad sets worked and generated a quality lead and how many didn't. So what you're seeing on the screen here is an ad set test that I did. We spent $28,320 and 11 cents in 30 days optimizing this one campaign. Now this was our campaign for connection incorporated. Um, you don't need to spend nearly that amount of money. You can do this for as little as 15 or $20 a day. Right. But I like to move fast. <laughs> so, um, so you can see, one ad set generated us a result at $384.34. Another ad set down here generated a result at $54.99. Now you'll notice all of them are paused because we had two ad sets out of the whole, all those slices of pie that we bought, two of them generated exceptional quality leads at $12 a piece. So now, all we've done is shut off all of the bad slices of the pie where our audience is not. And we now own in our ad account, our, ad, our, competi our competitors, your competitors aren't going to have those high value customers. These are the people that have great credit, okay, are looking to move very shortly, that actually have down payment, that have the wherewithal to actually buy that home. You use this process to identify just those people. And now you have this little blue ocean that you, only you in your advertising account in your local marketplace is advertising to. Then you can scale your budgets and get good quality leads through your funnel. So I realize that's a little bit technical, but it's, I mean, you're, you're clicking a mouse. It's not like you got to go out and dig a ditch or do manual labor or anything like that, right? At the end of the day, we're talking, typing, clicking. So it's not that hard for us to get that implemented. And now step number two is the offer. You've got to qualify your leads through the right offer. This is totally different than what everybody else is teaching you, right? So a lot of people are using lead forms because you can buy a lot of leads for really cheap or they're driving them to an opt-in page. We take the entire opposite approach. When somebody sees your ad on Facebook and they click on it, we want those people to jump through hoops and qualify themselves to you so that you're not chasing low quality leads. The other reason why we do it is because if somebody is a good lead and finishes the process, we feed that information back to the Facebook algorithm and say, Hey, go find us more of these people. So, from the ad set that we originally got super targeted, it gets even better by using this process, right? So we're using chat bots or what we call survey siphons. And we're surveying people or gamifying the process of getting them to opt in, right? So we get incredible opt-in rates uh, through these, which totally shocked me. I thought by making the process harder to go through, we would get less people. We actually get more people because they're seeing, hey, this is a quality process. These people are actually going to help me get a mortgage. It's not some bait and switch campaign or I'm putting my name and email on something I don't really understand. We make them jump through the hoops of how much home are you looking to buy? Do you have a down payment? What do you think your credit score is? We ask them basically a short form loan application right up front before they can put in their name, their phone number, and their email address. So we know anybody that gets to the end of the process is very likely to actually want to get approved for a mortgage, not just somebody opting in for some free information. So you get quality lead generation and filtration, and it's an excellent positioning and brand building tool for you. So this is one of our, uh, the screenshots of one of our um, like master accounts where we're running all our surveys. And you can see there's one campaign in here with 481 leads in it. We're averaging over nine leads a day and 54% of the people that start the opt-in process of filling out the survey are ending up giving us their name, their phone number, and their email address. A traditional opt-in page is 15%.
So we're asking way more information from these people and getting more of them to fill out the form because we're doing a good job on the targeting and we're feeding that information back into Facebook. So you can see a couple of the results here. Keep in mind, these are all really well optimized campaigns that have been with us for a significant amount of time. But uh, this one here, 188 leads for $3.23, 772 leads at uh, $2.48 per lead, 184 leads at 389, 411 leads at $4.13. They normally start off at seven or eight dollars a lead. And then as we're able to feed more data back into Facebook, they get better and better. And you get a better quality lead through the actual funnel. So this is an example of what the targeting looks like. Uh, oftentimes we'll target both real estate and mortgage and start to buy those pieces of the pie, or we'll just go after people that are interested in mortgage loans. So you really, in your detailed targeting, just target people that are interested in mortgage loans and then exclude mortgage bank, mortgage broker, mortgage consultant, loan officer, so that your competitors aren't clicking on your ads and spending your budget, right? Now, here's an example of an ad that we created for one of our clients. This was specific to first-time homebuyers. So we have funnels for uh, like jumbo loans, uh, VA loans. There's all kinds of reverse mortgages are really big right now. We've got all kinds of different funnels for each client. We customize this process for everybody. So I wanted to show you this so that you can see the ad copy that we write is designed in a way to repel people that aren't going to be good for the offer and attract the ones that are. So we say attention area name renters and first time buyers. So attention, you know, Fort Lauderdale renters and first time buyers. Or we would say attention Fort Lauderdale uh, buyers. If you're looking to move up, this program makes it easier for area name buyers to become homeowners. And then, you know, there's a little hook there. Now they have a very specific product that we're promoting uh, through this actual advertisement. But all you're trying to do is say, if you're looking to buy a home, we can let you know how much you qualify for and what rate you can expect to pay. You're calling out that mortgage customer through your ad copy. I know the emojis look a little bit weird, but it actually uh, does a really good job of increasing the amount of people that click on the ad and fill out the form. Who knew? Emojis, right? Anyways, We've got the targeting down. Once that person clicks on this ad, they go through this gamified process of finding out whether or not they can actually qualify for the loan. So we say, you know, our home buyer program, are you currently renting or do you own? When are you, or where are you looking to purchase? When are you planning to request your home loan? What's your estimated credit score? Just a guess is fine. How much would you like to borrow? Do you have a real estate agent that participates in our home buyer programs? The reason why we're asking that question is we know whether or not if they have a realtor, we're going to refer this lead back to that realtor. If they don't, we know we have a referral that we can send to our new realtor that's going to send us business, right? And then uh, normally we'll ask about nine or 10 questions. And again, we customize this for each of our clients. But what you want to do is get the information that you want from your future customer through that survey process. Make them jump through the hoops. Then ask them for their first name, their email, and their verified current mobile number. And that's so that you can text message them with the follow-up system. So check this out. While people are going through this process, you're getting all the data on the back end. So you can see this particular campaign, we had 739 leads that came through and 14% were looking to move in the next month, within a month. Another 30% were looking to go in two to five months. So you've got a full 44% of the leads looking to do something in up to five months from that actual process. Those are phenomenal leads to give to your mortgage or to your real estate professionals, right? Now, I wanna fill you in on a little bit of an insider tip because we ask people what they think their quality score is. Now, 35% said below fair. What we do with those people is we take them to a thank you page that has a little bit of information about credit repair on it. We say, if you're interested in getting uh, help saving your down payment or repairing your credit, we're happy to refer you to a credit repair specialist. You can call this number to ask any questions. We put your office number on there so people can call you. We still want people to have a high value you know, perspective of your business. You may win that further down the road, right? But when they say they have fair, good, or great credit, and again, 
we customize this for our client based on the minimum beacon that they can work with, right? If they say fair, good, or great, which is, look at fair, 45%, 16% good, only 2.7% said great credit. What we do is we take those high quality leads and we fire what's called a pixel on them. And with our Facebook advertising account, you can tell Facebook, hey, go find more of these people. So we feed those people that have good credit back into the Facebook algorithm to tell Facebook, hey, go find us more of these people. So the longer you run your campaign, you can see it start to like flip from lower quality people to higher quality people. The, the more ads that you run, the more leads that you generate through your system. It's a phenomenal way to get even better leads through the system. So one, fantastic targeting. Number two, repel the low quality leads and make them jump through hoops to get to you through a survey or a chat bot. And then step three is getting quality applications using compound communication systems. <laughs> that sounds a little bit technical. It's ringless voicemails, text messages, and emails. So what happens to the leads that don't call you right away? We put them into the system. And again, over 40% of the leads reach back out to us. So you can see over the right-hand side, it says 41%, 51%, 63%. That's the amount of people that are responding back from being in the initial funnel. And they're not like, they're actually reaching out and saying, how much do I qualify for? What's my rate going to be? There are actual conversations about getting qualified for a mortgage. And this is kind of what the process looks like. You can see this lead here. She got an email 15 minutes. So, and I'll give you the process here in just a second, but we send the ringless voicemail, then the text message, then the email, and it goes in a linear fashion down the screen here, right? So this one here, they got the third piece of communication on the day they opted in. It says, Hey, Deshwana, I hope this email finds you well. Thank you for completing our Fast Fund program Facebook survey. I received your information. Would like to begin working on your options immediately. I find it works best to start the process with a quick phone call. So she gets that message at 9.22 a.m. And at 9.28, she responds via text message back to the, to the original text that we sent them and says, is a good time now to text okay? Good morning, sure, we can text. And then that lead conversion process to the application happens right there immediately. Here's another one. The lead came in at around 440. There was a text message that went out at 444 after the lead opted in. The email went out at 449 and at 504 p.m., the lead responds back, I'm available now wants to be called, wants to be communicated with and go through the process. Now, here's how we're getting, again, this all starts at targeting, right? Targeting on Facebook, the proper opt-in offer, then the follow-up system. They all work together. If you got one of those things broken, it's very hard to, you know, to make it all work together, right? So on day one, we send the ringless voicemail, then the text message, then the email. Day two, ringless voicemail, text message, email. Day three, voicemail, text message, email. Now, I understand that this seems like a lot of communication, but keep in mind, they filled out a survey to find out how much home they qualify for and at what rate. They want to know the answer. All you're doing here is saying, hey, it's Chris. I've got the information that you requested. When's a good time to get that to you? It's, it's super valuable to them. They want this communication. And if at any time they respond to any of these messages, if they call you back, when they text you back or they email you back, the system shuts off, right? This is just a big lead filter. It's not really a CRM. It's just to, to convert these people till you can actually talk to them and qualify them. So day one, day two, day three is real heavy because we know that's when we're going to convert the leads that are really hot. Then day six, day 13, and day 30. And it goes back to text and email, text and email, then another text. Then day 39, we hit them with another voicemail. Day 50, day 55, day 60. And then we drop them into a sequence where once a month, they're getting communication from you. The voicemails are your voice recorded in your voice. The text messages we write, but they're written in a way where it resonates with your brand. Like these aren't, they're obviously a template, right? But we customize it to your business or you need to customize it to your business. And that's the whole process. That's how we're getting the targeting, getting the leads, and then getting those leads to reply to us as a result of that system. So going back to our initial planning exercise here, right? We know 
that for every 100 past clients, you can see one to two deals a month that come from the first section that I taught you. Step two, we know for every decent referral partner that you get in your business, you're going to get about six deals a year. So if you were to put eight referral partners into your business over the next 12 months, that's less than one a month, you're looking at an additional four deals per month. And remember, you can help them get more business from their past customers. You can help them convert the leads that they already have using the system, or you can just use the Facebook marketing system to generate the leads that they need, send them over, but send them to multiple partners and generate multiple referral relationships to get to eight using that system is super easy. And then we know that for every 100 leads that you put through the system, you should have a conversion rate of anywhere from 2% to 4%, might be high on 5%. But again, when you're generating those leads through Facebook, it's going to take those people, you know, until you start closing deals, it's going to be 90 days, 120 days. Uh, it takes time to convert those leads because when they find you on Facebook, they've still got to find the house. They got to win the house, buy the house, and then fund the deal, right? So even if they start with you and find the perfect house in 30 to 45 days, you're probably still not going to get paid on that until 60 or 90 days down the pipe. So we know it's totally attainable to get a two to 4% conversion ratio on those hundred leads, but you got to let the pipeline build, right? Again, we're not building this for 30 days. We're building this for a year from now so that you can have a pipeline of, you know, 800, 1,000, 1,200 leads that you've built in your pipeline that are all working with you, that are all pre-qualified, that are all getting ready to convert when they find that real estate. This isn't a short-term thing. We're building a system that's going to take care of your family in a year from now. And this is how you map it all out. So even if we take the lowest conversion at 2% on those Facebook leads, if you're doing 200 leads a month, that's four deals a month. So just with this plan here, right? If you've got eight referral partners, 200 leads a month, and you're following up on your past client database, and you've got a hundred people in your past customer database, that's nine deals a month. Well, how much do you make per deal, right? The money's in the math. It's not that difficult to say, okay, I'm going to make an investment today in order to put a system in place so that six months and a year from now, I'm going to be halfway to my goal in six months, and I'll be at my goal in a year. To double your business is totally attainable. You just need to put the right things in the right bucket and it works. So take the income that you want to make in a year from now. Know that for every 100 people in your database, you're going to get one to two deals a month, right? For every referral partner that you plug into this little system, you're going to get six deals a year. And then for every 100 leads that you put through the system, you're going to generate two to four deals a month in that system as it plays out. And now you can just toggle the switches, right? Figure out where you want your growth drivers to be and map out exactly what you want your income to be. And you're going to know exactly where you're going to get your deals from and you know exactly how to get them. So if you have any questions, type them into the chat. You will get a response from me or one of the members on our team. I'm happy to help you. So any questions that you have about that process, go ahead and uh, type them into the chat box. But before we do that, uh, and, uh, and I will answer them to you. You're watching a recording of this event right now. So you will get a response, uh, but it will come via email or we'll give you a call and, you know, help you out over the phone. Um, but this exercise right here, you've just gone through a fire hose of information. Now this is all tested. We know it all works. We know that you can implement it. But one of the things that I learned from Carl, uh, White and what, you know, was taught to Carl from a very high level person. And this has had a dramatic impact on my business is that you basically have two decisions right now. You can go out and try and figure out how to do this stuff right now. We all have a reason why we're in our business and we, now we know what we need to do. It doesn't matter if you're looking for more past customers, more referral partners, or just more deals from direct marketing you know what you need to do. I've given you the whole thing. Those are the only three ways you can grow to your mortgage business, right? So now you know what you need to do to get there. So if you figure out how to do this on your own, that timeline down that left-hand side, that's time. So it can take you a month, two months, three months, six months, nine months. It could take you the full year to figure out and implement all of these systems. And once you get them implemented, 
well, they're done. They're going to change. They're going to break a little bit, maybe, you know, so you got to go back and you got to spin those wheels, spin those plates, right? But keep in mind, you're also running your business. Your most valuable asset is your time that for all of us, right? So you can do this on your own. And if you feel you have the time to do it and you have the technical wherewithal and the team to do it, awesome. I've given you absolutely everything here that you need in order to get this done because that's what it takes. It takes getting it done. That's the main thing from today's presentation. But if you're looking at the how and you go, I don't have time, I don't have the budget to invest uh, in that stuff because you get you know, the follow-up system, you got to buy that, all the other stuff, the time that it's going to take you costs money, right? So the other option is who? And I take this in my business where I just write small checks for things that I need done and I cash big checks because the systems work and I've hired the right people, right? And that is the best option in your business for everything that you do. You should be closing loans, talking to real estate referral partners, taking apps. Those are the money-making activities in your business. Anything above and beyond that you're doing on that, you're wasting money right? Those are not money-making activities. Figuring out how to upload your database to a CRM, that doesn't make you money, right? When it's done and you get the phone calls from your past customers, that makes you money. But it's more efficient and it's more profitable to pay somebody to do that for you so that you can get the phone calls and you don't have to wait for the time portion or the worst possible scenario, it just never gets done. You get on an event like this, you understand how it can grow your business, and 60 days later, you haven't done any of it yet. You're still in the same position you're at today, right? I don't want that for you. So I would like to offer to do all of this for you. My team will build this for you. And you can invest today by going to loansfromfb.com. Now, uh, what we're going to do for you is set the whole system up. So the CRM program, we cover the cost of that. We pay that for you and we implement it in your business for you. So we're going to follow up on the past client database marketing system for you. We'll help you record the voicemail, broadcast that voicemail to your past customers for you. We set your agent legend LO up system so that you can support a realtor partner sending messages out like that as well, right? We also do the past lead marketing system for you. So when you go out and you get a realtor and they say, hey, I've got Zillow leads, I've got Boomtown leads, I've got these leads, can you plug them into your system? Absolutely. We do the integrations for you. It's as simple as an email. You never have to touch an API. You don't have to touch Zapier. You don't have to touch any of that stuff. You email your account manager, they hook it all up. Who's your partner? get the login, it's done. You never have to worry about it, right? So we take care of all that. Complete Facebook and Instagram ads management. The targeting strategies that I talked to you about and advanced strategies that we didn't even have time to cover today, like targeting your past customer database, creating lookalike audiences, whittling down and feeding that information back into Facebook. Very technical process, right? Can be done, can be figured out. You know what needs to be done, but doing it, yeah, and that can take a lot of time and Facebook changes oh, all the time. So you get halfway through getting it done. You log into Facebook the next day. It's totally different. It's a huge pain point. So we take care of all of that for you. We automate that lead flow. We're running the ads. We're managing your budget. We're taking care of everything. Those funnels that I showed you, the survey campaign and the chat bot, you get to choose which one you want, or you can run both if you have the budget to support them both. And our account managers will build them all for you. Survey Gizmo, I believe costs anywhere from 250 to $300 a month. We pay that for you. The CRM program also costs somewhere in the range of you know, 200 to $250 a month. We pay that cost for you as well. We absorb all those costs for you, set them up, program them, we put in all the scripts, we write the emails, we write the text messages on the follow-up system. Everything is done for you. What you get is high quality leads that are pre-qualifying themselves and automated lead follow-up so that you just get inbound phone calls and inbound text messages from leads that you pre-qualify and you either close those deals or you, you hand them off to your realtor referral partners. Either way, you have a growth strategy that is going to help you grow your business. So, uh, if you're watching this after no November 28th, this is a phenomenal deal at $2,000 for the setup and just $1,500 a month. I mean, if you think about hiring somebody in your business to manage this system for you, which absolutely would take a full-time person to do all of this for you, it's a steal 
to pay $1,500 a month to have an employee that would do all of this for you, right? So at this pricing, if you're watching this, it's $2,000 for the setup. It's $1,500 a month. That is a phenomenal deal for you and worth every single penny. Now, those of you that are watching this before November the 28th, we're giving a webinar discount. That's a hard stop at November 28th. You have to invest before then in order to get this pricing. Uh, so this is, uh, well, the setup's $14.97. That covers your first 30 days and includes the setup of all the CRMs. It includes everything. Uh, it takes about 14 days to get your account set up and running. After we turn the ads on, you have leads that are coming in uh, basically within 48 hours, right? Then it's $9.97 per month for the management of that system. Your Facebook and Instagram budget is on top of that. We recommend a budget of $1,000 a month because we know that's enough to generate enough leads that you're going to be able to have enough volume to put through your system where you're going to see a result from it. So right now, go to loansfromfb.com. That's loansfromfb.com. That's a payment page where we're going to ask you for your information, your credit card information, you click submit. That is going to register you into our system and trigger our system. You're going to be sent a receipt, obviously, through the email. And then our office is going to reach out. They're going to send you an intake survey and also reach out to find a time that works for you for your intake call where we do everything for you. Normally, a lot of, you know, you, you may have signed up for a service like this in the past where it's a hundred emails back and forth to try and get the agency all the information that they need to make this done. Mm -mm. We do it in one phone call. We get everything that we need. We help you remember your passwords, walk you through that whole thing, right? Make sure that you have a nice, smooth launch. So again, those of you that are investing right now in the background, here's what you're getting. A custom built Facebook traffic machine with database targeting, advanced targeting, and our 100% unique custom targeting. So you're getting quality leads through that funnel. We do all the ad creatives, the ad copy, the split testing, the optimization, the reporting, and the accountability. You work with a dedicated account manager that reaches out to you once a month to get feedback on the leads that you're bringing through the system so that we can make sure that we're targeting the right people. We either build your survey account or your many chat account, or like I said, we'll build both of them for you as part of that intake. And that is fully built for you. You don't have to worry about building the survey. We're going to take care of all of those questions on the intake survey, customize it to your business to make sure that we're getting the right customer for you. Then we build that entire follow-up system for you with the ringless voicemails, the text messages, the emails. We write a ringless voicemail script for you based on your business and then get on the phone with you and help you record it, right? We write all of the text messages for you. We write all of the emails for you. We write all the ads, the images, all that stuff. We package it together in a compliance document, send it to you. You get compliances approval on it. Uh, we work with compliance departments every single day in our business. We work in the mortgage industry, right? We've got this thing down to a fine oiled machine to get you through compliance and get these ads up and running. You get proven lead conversion campaigns with all the copywriting done for you and then a dedicated account manager that you can talk to. Now, when you invest today, I've also got some bonuses for you. We've got an incredible private Facebook group where we're constantly talking about, you know, lead conversion metrics, better ways to grow your mortgage business. We do bi-weekly trainings where we get on a webinar just like this, where you get to ask questions, see the latest things that we're coming up with, updates on what's happening on Facebook and Instagram and other cool things that we're doing in the marketing world. And you get that 45 minute quick start session that I talked about where you actually get your account manager on the phone, the person that you're going to be working with, walking you through that entire setup process. So you don't waste any time getting up and running and we can have you up on that call as soon as tomorrow. So make sure you go to loansfromfb.com right now and invest today. Now, bonus number two, I mentioned during the presentation, we have opened up our uh, relationship with our CRM program so that we can integrate with Zillow and Boomtown, all of the other services for no additional charge, right? You can go out to your realtor referral partners and get them to put their leads into this system for no additional charge, no extra licenses or anything like that. And you get access to my irresistible influence offer campaign. That's running ads on Facebook that target realtors with an offer to help them convert more of their leads and help them 
generate new leads in their business. The realtors that opt in there are put through a qualification sequence to make sure that they're actually closing volume and then they can book an appointment with you. So that system actually books appointments with you with realtors that want to work with you. And that's completely free. It's a bonus that you get when you invest today by going to loansfromfb.com. Here's my crazy guarantee for you. If you're not 100% satisfied, you keep all of the campaigns and the bonuses, okay? So if you submit your deposit today, you get on the intake call, ask a couple of questions. It's like, oh, I don't really think this is for me. We'll refund your money on that intake call. If you implement the system, right? And for whatever reason, in 90 days or 120 days, you want to you know, go on vacation or whatever it is, no problem. There's no contract to sign. You're not in this thing for a year. You can cancel the program at any time based on what's going on in your business. So, and if you cancel, you keep all the campaigns and the bonuses. So, as you're going through, I know that it can be difficult to make an investment like this, but remember, it's not about the investment that you're putting in today. This is just like investing in the stock market, except the potential returns are just awesome in our businesses, right? Because in the mortgage business, we can make so much money off just one transaction that having these three systems that work in your business, more deals from your past customers, more referral partners sending you business, more systems to convert free Zillow and Boomtown leads from your realtors and a Facebook marketing campaign that drives this business for you, compound all of that. We've done the exercise. You know where you're going to be in a year from now. The investment of just $14.97 today and $1,000 a month in advertising and $1,000 for management, $2,000 a month, most of you will cover that cost with just one deal a month. The rest is just that powerful system that grows your business and gives you the lifestyle that you want. It is actually a very easy decision to make when you do the math and you look at the return from the investment. So don't let that small brain stop you from writing that small check that's going to cash that big check. I understand it can be difficult to get over that hurdle, but don't worry. We've got you. We're very good at this. We've got this all figured out and we can't wait to work with you. Um, take a look at Pat. Uh, Pat's one of our clients. Every week we have clients in our office that come from our Facebook marketing, which is phenomenal. This is from Vaughn. Vaughn actually in his own right is a very accomplished marketer and a very smart businessman. Um, and he had been through a couple of other agencies that had come in with some pretty hefty promises. And uh, he came to us uh, because of our uh, relationship with one of the large lenders in Canada. And uh, he was referred to us and said, Hey guys, uh, you know, I see a lot of crap. I get phone calls every day from people saying they can do this stuff. And this is his testimonial after coming to us very, very skeptical. Uh, finally, results from Facebook, even though it took some time and that's where we were training his algorithm and feeding all that information back in and testing the audiences, right? Exactly what I taught you to do today. Our campaigns are generating quality traffic and applications each month. We closed three deals last month and already have another four in the pipeline for this month. Super cool. You saw the testimonial from Adriana, two months on the system, set up four new realtor referral relationships as a result of just farming the leads out to the realtors that she had on the system. Just phenomenal. You saw Melt's testimonial already, so I'll go through that quickly. His return on investment, including the management fee that we do uh, on his account, 507% for the year. So every dollar that he put in, he returned $5.07 out. You do that at scale, that's sweet. <laughs> so this is another one from a branch manager. Uh, he requested to be anonymous, uh, but we thought we'd put this in here. I have registered three apps in the past week, all qualified borrowers. Uh, a nice feedback for his account manager, Bashar. Uh, here's another one. Agent Legend is working wonders for my internet leads with, and then we've uh, blurred out the campaign that he's in there. I've taken four apps this week alone from the follow-up system. This program is a beast, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, we can help you. If you're sitting there, you know that, you know, deals from your past customers, deals from real to referral partners and deals from Facebook and Instagram ads are the way that you want to grow your business, but you just don't have the time to do it yourself. I, we would love 
to help you because we know how to do that. We're very good at it and we'll walk you through the process, make it super easy for you and there's nothing for you to do. Just put your business in our hands and we'll take good care of you. Uh, go to loansfromfb.com right now. My name is Chris Johnston. I'm the president of Connection Incorporated. We're the company that's gonna be helping you get all of this stuff up and running and we can't wait to have you. So um, at the very beginning of this presentation, I mentioned that we don't have any corporate sponsors and you're here because you've been invited by myself. So I wanted to close with, uh, with this. And again, any questions that you have, just type them into the chat box. You'll get a personalized response from either myself or somebody on our team where we'll answer all of your questions. We'll even get on the phone with you, answer any questions that you have, walk you through any questions, help you implement. And then it, like, it's not a heavy sales pitch call or whatever. It's just like, hey, do you understand how that works? Awesome. Was I helpful? Yeah. Okay. Do you want us to do that for you? Yes or no? <laughs> you know, it's pretty simple. Um, so anyways, um, tomorrow won't wait. I have sat in your shoes and sat at a plan, written down on a piece of paper, and knowing that my, my, you know, my kids are at home, my wife is at home, I'm here working in the business, spending time away from them, trying to grow something, trying to grow a better future uh, for all of us, and sitting there looking at that paper and thinking, man, that doesn't look attainable for me. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that goal in a year. But chunking it down and putting just a little bit each month, and then looking at that monthly goal and saying, okay, here's what I need to do each week. And then here's what I need to do and get up and do each day. You know, there's three things you need to do. More customers from past customers, more customers from referral partners, and more customers from direct-to-market advertising. Just run the math and don't forget about it, okay? Don't just take the piece of paper and stick it down in your desk and say, okay, well, that was a good webinar. That's great. On to the next, right? This is a mapped out plan. I've been through this and I've been through it myself. I've taken this exercise, set those monthly goals, and I'm now at the point in a year where I get to do this again, right? And I want to walk you through this process. So that picture that you see on the screen there, that little tiny dot out there with no waves in the ocean, that's me. And, uh, you know, five years ago, I didn't surf, uh, but it's something that was big on my bucket list. And uh, and this isn't necessarily about surfing, but it's about the freedom to be uh, living a dream that I set out and going through the hard effort and the investment in the business. You can see, you know, I've showed you a Facebook advertising account where we're out, you know, $28,000 in one month invested in Facebook in one ad campaign. There is discomfort <laughs> that comes from making an investment in my company like that. But I can tell you when the return comes from making the investment and the freedom that comes from that investment in the business, it is a phenomenal feeling to have gone through that little bit of discomfort up front, writing that small check to cash that big check. It can be done and it can, you know, it worked for me, it works for, I mean, look at how many people talk about Facebook ads and social ads and the results that they get from them. Look at how many different companies and organizations and businesses are being built through social advertising, good referral networking, and just decent, good, high quality past customer marketing. It's how businesses are built. It's uncomfortable to dedicate yourself to the process, but it is absolutely worth it. And tomorrow won't wait. Because when you leave today's presentation, you're going to walk down one of two paths, right? You're going to do it on your own. And I want you to be successful if you do, right? So if you implement it and you implement it half as good as we would as a management company, you're going to do great. And that's awesome. If you know you're going to go do it, go do it. Don't pay us. You don't need us, right? If you know there's a likelihood that you're not going to do it, it's a solid investment. Or if you're happy where you are and you don't want to grow, and you know that you're going to be able to sustain your business, that's also a great option. Doing nothing and just staying where you are, but having this information to know that if you want to in the future, you can, that's great too. But I just want you to be aware of the decision that you're making while you're here. And for those of you that kind of align with, with me and, and what we're doing here at Connection Incorporated, we're 
are about growth. We're about growth for our customers or about growth for ourselves. And if that sounds like you, we would love to help you get through the discomfort, get the campaigns launched that you need to take your business to the next level and see you in a year really where you want to be. And uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'll get off my soapbox and <laughs> know that um, I will be answering all of your questions and, uh, and all of your feedback is totally welcome uh, inside the chat box. So just uh, leave your comments on the page. My name is Chris Johnstone. I'm the president of Connection Incorporated. I really hope you love this event today. Um, I'm a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but I think it's worth it to give you the incredible value. And I can't wait to see you on the next event that we produce. So I uh, hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. And for those of you that have invested, um, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the inside and uh, you'll be, well, you already have your receipt and the intake and you'll get a call from a couple hours from the uh, people in our office to make sure that you're well taken care of and enjoying the intake process. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much.